Why is there seven plates up there? I have two, One four, pork six. and two beef. What is this? Amanda, yes, how sir. many dishes are in front? There are seven dishes, chef. Unbelievable. Yeah, what the fuck is there seven up there for? Where's the extra dish coming from? Frank, you did chicken and beef? Yeah. I... Amanda told us she was doing beef. This is not good. What have we got? We got three beef, chef. And that's the best you can do for her. Can you just get your shit together? This is embarrassing. Everybody knew I was doing this ribeye. Let's do some math. I just want two beef dishes. Come on. Yeah. We're keeping the steak, Diane, and we'll keep that one right there. That's it. Done. I don't know if Frank has a problem with me or females in general, but what am I, fucking chopped liver? Let's begin with the hot seafood appetizers. Bring them up, please. Bryce and Chef Andy will select one of the four appetizers to feature on their wedding reception menu. Thank you. First up. Ariel, let's start off with your seafood appetizer. I did a grilled piece of squid stuffed with lobster claw. Andy, what do you think visually? It's really opaque looking. Slightly phallic in terms of looks like the bison's penis. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say that. Not the most attractive. It's an aphrodisiac. You didn't cook the squid enough. It's still raw, it's very chewy. Yeah, Bryce? Yeah, it's just kind of off-putting yeah. visually. That's not a good start. Next up is Kristen's shrimp tempura with leek puree. How was that, though? Really good. It's really nice and light. Thank you, Chef. I think the shrimp's cooked beautifully. Thank you. Good job. Mwah. For the blue team, Chad hopes to impress with his handmade pasta and prawns. How was that? I think the pasta's cooked perfectly. It was plentiful. I thought it was a great dish. Very good. Last up is Joe with his seafood chowder. Really nice flavors. I love chowder, so it came together very well. Thank you. Tough one. It's really tough. Um, Can I, I really one? like Kristen's because it's nice and light, but I know that our families might go for something a little heavier. What do you yeah. think? I think, Chad, how you, you put in the time to do the pasta yourself. I think I'll have to go with that. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Blue Team. Good start. Good job, Chad. Good job. Winning that first dish felt so good. Nice work there. Very nice. Uh, right, let's start off next with the beef entrees. Bring them forward, please. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, Blue. Hassan. Discover the dish, please. What I have for you guys today is a porcini crust ribeye, a Yukon gold puree with a little caviar on top there. I think visually it's a little bit lacking. Yeah, the caviar on the potatoes is a bit weird to me. OK. It's now up to Danny's filet with Romesco to try to wow the happy couple. I think you did a great job. The steak itself was great. Mm. Yeah, elegance. Thank you, nice. chef. Now it's Jared's time to shine with his Asian-inspired veal chop. It was a bit disappointing when I tasted it. Needs a lot more salt and pepper. Okay. Definitely missing seasoning. What a shame. With Jared's dish coming up short, it's now time for Frank's Steak Diane, the dish that pushed Manda's dish to the sidelines. Mm. I mean, I think there's too much sauce going on. Looks like a marine boot has stepped all over it. We are all agreeing that the one standout dish is Danny's. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I was trusting that Frank knew his dish was on point, but I'm just disappointed that I didn't do what I needed to do to get my team to listen. 